recently I haven't been taking great photos and I'll admit that I haven't had many opportunities and in the last few videos we haven't had any photos which just make you think wow that is cool so today I've decided that I'm gonna get that photo it's been a long time coming and I'm very prepared I cleaned all of my lenses and I'm wearing boots so there is nothing stopping us today from getting that photo. I'm not going back until I get the photo. I've got with me the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. I've got that paired with the Canon 250D, which does have a 1.6 crop as it's an APS-C sensor camera. This setup is altogether about a thousand pounds and so let's hope we get some cool wildlife photos. Now straight ahead of me in this bush, there is a small bird, I believe it could be a black cap. Now everything is looking very dark. Okay, it's lit up a tiny bit. See, there is a black cap, it's a female. Uh, the camera won't focus on it though. I'm gonna go to, going through the viewfinder, hopefully we'll have better luck. I'm following the black cap. It's moving across the hedgerow. Now, I really do want a photo of this black cap. They're a bird that I don't photograph very often. I believe I can see him through there. Now, unfortunately, he's on the opposite side of the fence. And it's a false alarm. That's a blue tit, which means somewhere along the line, I've lost my black cap. I thought it was the blue tip, but it must be somewhere else. Now I know it is in this hedgerow, so I'm gonna keep my eyes open and hopefully we'll refind that black cap. Now I can see there's a wren singing away on a bush. Standing up very tall. Now, unfortunately, there's a bit of a branch in the way. I'm gonna see if I can move around to get that branch out of the way. I'm trying to be really quiet because the wren will fly away. They're quite a shy bird, so I'm moving slowly and trying not to snap branches. That looks great. No, he flew off. Ah, oh, he flew off just as I got the good angle but I didn't get a photo of him. That is very frustrating. I literally could see the photo that I wanted. It's fit, oh, 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 there's a woodpecker. There's a woodpecker. At the bottom of that tree is a woodpecker. Has it got, it's gone around the other side of the tree. These birds are having a laugh today. I have not had to right in front of me like right in front of me. We're getting some great photos, I really hope. It's awesome, he's literally on this tree, right in front of me. You might be able to see him on your camera. We're getting some awesome photos. I'm really glad, I'm really glad. It's what I needed. Now, the blackbird is actually, oh, I don't know what to focus on. I'm gonna focus on the nuthatch, just because it's slightly rarer. Now he's heading further up the tree and there's lots of nice spring greens further up the tree. So I'm hoping if he comes to the edge, he's currently behind the tree, I can't see him. If he comes to the edge of the tree, then he'll be sticking out and I can get a photo of him with all of the beautiful greens blurred out behind him. And this is where it suddenly opens up into farmland. We have lots of crows and jackdaws in this field in front of me, but nothing special. We're gonna go and head along a path down there where there's lots of hedgerows, and normally there's lots of little birds. This path can get quite wet. In fact, I came along here just the other day and couldn't get past this muddy puddle, hence the boots, but it seems to have dried up a little bit and we're good to go past. Sometimes you get birds drinking in these puddles, which can make cool reflection shots 
reflection shots always come across coolers. They're just something a bit different. I'm not seeing many small birds as I speak, but I hope they come out or they've kind of let me down. There's actually a tractor up in the field over there, which I might get a photo of if it comes down the slope. And actually, what's that? Is that a red kite or is it just a seagull? It's too far away for me to tell at this point. Let's zoom in and have a look. And it is a red kite. I thought it might be a red kite and it is. Okay, so now this is against a completely white sky, which makes it slightly more difficult. I'm going to keep my shutter speed high and I'm going to keep my f-stop at 6.3, which is the lowest it can go when I'm at 600 millimeters. The ISO is going to be on auto for now. There he is. It's much lower now. It's hovering over where the tractor is. I want to get a bit closer. I'm going to move with a bit more haste. And he's coming overhead now. Well, not quite overhead, but closest it's been so far. Let's have a look. The camera says they're exposed correctly and they are looking okay. We have a very overcast day today, meaning it's quite a soft light behind the red kite. Now, the nuthatch photo is still my favourite. At least I haven't edited it up yet, but I see the most potential in it. I'm carrying my camera like a real wildlife photographer on a large gimbal and on a tripod and I'm not quite satisfied with what we've got so far. I believe the ISO is going to be quite high, I believe there's going to be a lot of noise in those nuthatch photos and that's the main reason why I want to keep going. I want to find an animal where I can lower that ISO so in a better lit place like here. The red kite photos were cool don't get me wrong but the backdrop isn't very interesting. They're quite a basic style of photo, if I dare say. So I really want something slightly more interesting, but well lit. linnet in these bushes in front of me. That's a bird that I don't often photograph. I can't even think of a good linnet photo I've ever taken. Now it flew off when I got here but I'm going to wait around because it's still in these bushes. And suddenly the linnet landed for a split second on the fence and we got the photo. So I'm chuffed, but before I go, I've just got some ducks to show you. There's no water in sight, but there's a few ducks just behind me. Here they are, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.